You know, parents have the assignment of a lifetime. With this job comes its share of fears. We fear failing the child, regardless of how that parent came to be a parent, perhaps as a biological parent or a step parent or a single parent or a divorced parent or a grandparent, whatever role that person may find themselves when they find themselves in a parenting responsibility, it comes with a bucket load of fear. The story starts with the parent's panic. My little daughter is dying. He said, please come and lay your hands on her, heal her so she can live. Jairus was a community leader. He was one of the rulers of the synagogue. But that day when Jesus saw Jairus, Jesus wasn't seeing a man who had been sent by the village. Jesus saw a father who had come on behalf of his daughter. In the case of Jairus, Jesus made the father's prayer his priority of the day. Surely in that great gaggle of people on the shoreline of Galilee, there were many requests. But he heard the prayer of the Father above them all. He heard the concern in the parent's heart. And when you pray, God listens. Let them know that you're depending upon the Heavenly Father to make you a better father. Even though we pray, challenges still surface, don't they? They did for Jairus. Look what happened next. There was a woman who interrupted this mission of mercy. She was diseased. She had been for 12 years a victim of a blood disorder. And she worked her way through the crowd and she worked her hand through the crowd in hope of touching the edge of Jesus' garment. I'm thinking that Jairus was, was unaware as he was leading Jesus to his house. He was probably a dozen strides down the path before he looked back and realized, nobody's following me. Has Jesus forgotten my request? That's where some of you are. You've offered a request for your child and you feel like that prayer was being answered, but now things seem to be on hold. Or that's what happened to Jairus. Look what happens next. Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. What if Jairus had turned to Jesus and said, well, don't come, it's all over. What if he had told Jesus to leave? I guess he could have, but he didn't. And he called her saying, little girl arise. And then her spirit returned and she arose immediately because Jairus wanted Jesus to heal his daughter. Jesus came and resurrected his daughter. He went beyond the request of Jairus. What if Jesus were to do the same for you? God's message to you is simple. He has not left you in this task by yourself. When he blessed your arms with a child, he knew you needed help. You are not alone. And God will help 